helpful then for the building that you want to start with first to maybe identify the rooms where significant items were left behind and maybe help out in determining which people were renting that room so we could facilitate getting them the belongings back. And of course, if for whatever reason you're unsuccessful in that, maybe you could put them in a storage closet or maintain them so you can work to find them for some period of time anyway. Those words are said by Hamilton County Judge Boyd Patterson. And Judge Patterson, the owner of the Budgetel, Amish Patel, and his attorney walked through the motel, passing rooms stacked high with clothes, blankets, furniture, and more. While Judge Patterson is focused on getting residents their items back, Budgetel owner Patel is focused on... We have contractors that probably need to clean first and then start the repairs. Hamilton County's District Attorney Cody Womp wants to keep the place shut down, but Patel's attorney says they plan to actually revitalize the place. We ask former residents if they would move back into the motel, and they said yes, but under certain conditions. Do background checks on people because if kids are going to live here, we sure don't need a handful of sex offenders. Amanda and Lester Hickson and their three kids said they lived at the Budgetel because of affordability. The Hickson say they fear what's to come as the Chattanooga Homeless Coalition says they will run out of funds on December 14th to support the residents. But Amanda says with her faith and support of other Budgetel residents, she has hope. We are a family. If one don't have something and we have some money or some food or clothes, whatever, we will band together and make sure that person has whatever they need. The courts will decide a lot of times for residents to come and retrieve their left behind items. As time progresses, we will see if DA Womp will keep the budget tail shut down or if owner Patel gets to revitalize the place. As for the Hicksons and other residents, they are focused on getting permanent housing. I want something more stable than having to think about, oh, we're going to afford rent this week. As holidays approach, residents from Budgetel Inn are still struggling to find a permanent place to live. With the clock ticking on their temporary housing, the real question is, what will happen when everyone runs out of money? We do need a hand up. Not a handout. We need a hand up. A help. Sheila worries for a family, as this Super 8 motel is the only place they can go. After being evicted from the East Ridge Budgetel, she says their only other option is sleeping in their car. Mommy, are we going to ever be stable? And, you know, I keep reassuring him that we're going to find a place and we're going to have our own home and that there is people that are trying to help us with that. CPS would come in and, you know, say, hey, you can't be sleeping in your car, child, car with your child we're going to have to take him into custody, and I'm, I can't do that to him. The Homeless Coalition is helping Sheila and the hundreds of other people affected, but it costs $48,000 every two weeks to put them up in other motels. Let's get them back in the house. We just need time. The Coalition wants to raise up to $400,000 to keep these people in a place for at least the next couple months. Mike Smith. The executive director for the Homeless Coalition says the problem with some of the hotels they are using are more expensive than the budget tell, especially for families that have multiple children. Asking the community to step forward, and that by the community we mean all of us, businesses, corporations, local governments, the faith-based community. Let's give these people a chance. This problem these people are facing even sparking a plea to county commissioners to find a way to help. There were 170 adults. 108 children and 42 pets standing in front of us with desperate looks on their faces and with nowhere to go. This sign at the Polk County Justice Center shows the problem the Ducktown residents who need to visit court now face. Just inconvenience more than anything, you know, but it's something we'll work through. Last week, this small Ducktown courthouse shut its doors. This letter from Commissioner John Peppinger says there are health concerns like debris and unknown material falling from the ceiling inside the building. Now Ducktown residents have to attend court at the Polk County Justice Center. The county is offering transportation from Ducktown for a $4 fee. I spoke with one resident that says this is a real inconvenience. 
and she worries about seniors making the long drive in winter weather when they need to visit the courthouse. The mayor says he is looking at all viable options to get court closer to his residence. As of right now, we're looking on the hospital property, not the hospital itself, but we have some doctor's office buildings and there's a building A is what we call it where physical therapy was and I think that's what they're looking at doing a temporary site. The town committee will hold a public meeting next week to take the next step in the process.